Hello, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. I try to upload two videos per month at least. So if you don't want to miss out on these tips and tricks, please make sure you subscribe. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Power Automate and create a simple flow so you can have an automated message delivered into your Microsoft Teams channel, wishing your colleagues or your students happy holidays or happy new year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my Edge browser. I'm gonna click on these nine dots, which is an app launcher, click on all apps, and I'm going to locate my Power Automate, which is right here. Keep in mind the goal today is to create a simple flow that will automatically send a message inside your Teams channel, wishing your colleagues or your students happy holidays. Again, I'm going to click on create. I do have options to have an automated flow, instant flow, but I'm gonna schedule something that triggers every year and I don't have to keep reminding myself to wish my colleagues happy holidays. I'm gonna click on schedule cloud flow. I'm gonna give it a name, holiday greetings, and I wanna schedule this flow on 24th of December at 10 a.m. But again, it's up to you. You can schedule it anytime. Maybe you wanna have something right before the New Year's. You can schedule one for 31st of December as well. And I want this to run once every year. So once in 12 months, I'm gonna change that to 12 and I'm gonna change the minutes to months and I'm going to create. Once you have clicked create here, it's gonna give you the first tab. The recurrence tab has been created. So you know you're running this flow once every year, but what should the flow do? That's gonna be a new step. You're gonna click on new step and I'm gonna keep it very simple. Every time it runs the flow, I want it to say happy holidays, happy new year inside a Teams channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Teams. As soon as I type in Teams, I do have different options here. I'm going to scroll down until I find post message in chat or channel. I'm going to click on this. And as soon as I click, it's going to say post in. I'm going to click on channel. And as soon as I click channel, it's going to say what team. I'm going to go ahead and pick the team for demonstration purposes. I'm going to use my sandbox team, which is Teams Math. And as soon as I click Teams Math, it's gonna ask me, hey, what channel in your Teams do you want me to post it to? I am going to say um, announcements. And here I'm gonna post a message. I'm going to say happy new, no, happy holidays and happy new year. I do not want to mention the year because I want this to run every year. I'm gonna select everything, change the font, to let's just say that i'm going to increase the font to 30 and change the color to blue and i think that's good enough i'm going to go ahead and save this and as soon as you save it here you have this green tab telling hey your flow is ready to be tested and they recommend you to test it so let's go ahead and test this flow i'm going to click on test and i'm going to click on manually i want to test this manually and i'm going to say test and I'm gonna run the flow. And as soon as you see this green checkbox, you know that the flow has been successfully executed. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside Teams to see if that has been posted. And here I have Happy Holidays, Happy New Year posted inside my Teams Math and Announcement channel. Now what if I wanna add a personalized touch to it? What if I wanna add a Bitmoji if you're a class teacher or a picture? Let's go ahead and see how that's done. So let me click on my flow. Let me click on the back button. And here you have an option to edit your flow. So let me click on edit. I'm gonna click on post message. And here in the message tab, all the way to the right hand side, I'm gonna click on code view, which is gonna bring us to a HTML coding page. Again, I will be leaving uh, the HTML code in the description box below, so you don't have to worry about the code. Let me press enter. And I would like to go ahead and paste a Bitmoji of myself so I know I have that personalized touch to it. To do that, let me simply scroll down my window here. And as you can see, I have a Bitmoji extension inside my Edge browser. I'm gonna click on that. And here I have this Merry Christmas. Let me say Happy Holidays. Yeah, I think I like Happy Holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Happy Holidays. I'm gonna click on this one. 
I'm going to right click and copy the image link. I'm going to copy the image link and I'm going to click again. So it's gone. I'm going to go ahead and type in the HTML code. I will leave the code in the description box below so you don't have to worry about that. Let me go ahead and finish the code and be right back. Once I pasted the code, I gave the desired width and height and I close it. Everything is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And again, I'm waiting for that green tab to tell me that my flow is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and test it. Test manually, test again and run the flow. Again, I'm waiting for the green check mark. Once it's done, I'm going to go back to my teams and announcements scroll down and here i have happy holidays happy new year now you might say what if i don't want to add a bitmoji what if i want to add any other image that's on the web you can do that as well so let me quickly go here and show you i do have this little cat image from pixabay again this is free to use i will simply copy the web link from here Control c go back to my flow and here in place of the bitmoji link i will go ahead and add the little cute kitten link here i'm gonna go ahead copy that all the way up to here delete it and Control v save it the test again and run the flow click done and let's go back to teams and here i have this little kitten or cat image instead of my bitmoji so here are all different options that you can use inside your flow to send a plain message to send a customized message with your bitmoji or any other image that you want to go ahead and plug in i hope you enjoyed this session i hope you learn how to create a simple flow to wish your colleagues or your students happy holidays if you did please make sure you like and subscribe if you think it's worth sharing please go ahead and do so i will leave a link in the description box below for microsoft teams canvas and technology playlists do not forget to check them out and do comment in the comment section below if you would like to see more power automated flow created for your students or your colleagues to wish them happy birthdays and happy anniversaries like always happy teaching please take care of yourself and enjoy your break.